And I'm now going to sweep the color box back to the, um, uh, to the, to the level of the pulmonary veins, which, are, which enter at the back of the left atrium. And I'm going to switch our cells to the color compare mode. We are visualizing the back of the left atrium here. And we're now seeing color flow coming from the left pulmonary veins here, back in, and from the right pulmonary veins, back in towards the left atrium here. So we are confirming that those pulmonary veins do actually come back to the, uh, to the left atrium. If I just freeze it here, freeze frame is a good modality for the pulmonary veins. We can see here very nicely that the pulmonary veins on the right are coming back to the left atrium, as are the pulmonary veins on the left coming back to the, to the, to the left atrium. I've had to adjust the color scale downwards. Currently, it's around 33 centimeters per second to make sure that, I'm, that we're able to Im visualize the low-velocity pulmonary vein flow. Whilst we're in position here, we'll use the pulse Doppler to interrogate the flow pattern through the pulmonary veins. I'm picking the right pulmonary veins here, and we can see now very nicely, the low velocity basic flow pattern through the pulmonary veins. So this is ventricular systole, ventricular diastole, and this is atrial contraction, where the velocity is at, it, at its lowest. And in some cardiac lesions, the, the, the flow may actually reverse with, with atrial contraction. This is used particularly to assess some fetuses with, for example, hypoplastic left heart, and has important implications for postnatal management. But this is a normal phasic pulmonary venous Doppler flow pattern. It's extremely important to ensure that this, this, area, that this area is examined very closely. Uh, I mean the area between the left atrium here and the descending aorta to ensure there's no other vascular structures in this area because where these pulmonary veins may be anomalous, you can sometimes see a confluence of the pulmonary veins which appear to return back to the left atrium but in fact don't return back to the left atrium. So it's very important to play, pay particularly close attention to that area to ensure that the aorta is very close to the back of the left atrium and that the pulmonary veins here are actually coming in to the back of the left atrium and not just close to the back of the left atrium.